Two bald eagles nesting in Milwaukee's Bayview neighborhood captivated the community. But this weekend, one of those eagles died after showing signs of the highly contagious bird flu. Bruce Harrison spoke with neighbors who tried to help that animal. Suzanne Jerva is a filmmaker and she's seen tragic love stories play out before, but never quite like this one. They seemed like such a great couple. They were working together so hard to build that nest. Everything looked great. She says they showed up about a few weeks ago. Neighbors watched the nest go up. They learned from experts there may not be babies this year, but possibly the next. You know, it's truly remarkable because, you know, if you think back just 50 years ago, the bald eagle was nearly extinct. Then on Friday, signs of the female eagle in serious distress. The Wisconsin Humane Society took the bird in for treatment, but it says they euthanized her after she became severely ill. They say the bird showed signs of avian influenza. Test results will take several days. And for now, it's unclear if the male got the virus, but he's been seen in the area. This is one of the better views of the nest, and neighbors have asked that we don't say where it's at to avoid disturbing the remaining bird. According to the National Eagle Center, bald eagles mate for life. That's unless one dies. But the surviving mate will typically find a new partner and often use the same nest. I think he's going to make it, and hopefully he's going to go to wherever he goes to find another mate, which seems a little quick for me, but I can get over it. Many in the area are rooting for him. They hope despite the tragic loss of his love, he sticks around and eventually starts a family right here in Bayview. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News. Now this comes just a few days after a flock of chickens in Racine County tested positive for bird flu. Last week, a goose in Milwaukee County was also confirmed to have the disease. And last month, an egg farm in Palmyra had a bird flu outbreak in which nearly 3 million chickens and eggs had to be destroyed. Now this marks the first time in seven years bird flu has been confirmed in our state. The disease very rarely affects humans.